All right, let's see what the dealer's got. West is the dealer. And they have four, eight points in total. Uh, this is enough points to open a week two, but we don't have a sufficient suit length. If we had six cards in spades, um, we would have a sufficient hand to open a week two, but with only five cards, we, uh, we haven't got a long enough suit, basically. You could open two spades, but that would be basically lying to your partner. Um, so we should pass. Now to north. Aha, here where the good hand lies. We have got 6, 12, 17, 21 points in total. Obviously a very good hand, more than half the deck of points. Um, our hand is balanced, so we should be opening two no trumps with this hand. Two no trumps shows 20 to 22 points in a balanced hand. If it were unbalanced, we would have to decide between opening two clubs or opening one of our longest suits. But with a balanced hand, we have an easy get out, so two no trumps is the correct opening. Right, to east. It's highly, highly unusual you have a bid after a 2 no trump opening from the opponents, but let's have a look. Um, nope, this isn't the hand that's going to be bidding. A flat hand with only four points. This is a hand that would very rarely bid anyway, but especially not after a 2 no trump opening from the opponents. Um, so, yep, this is an easy pass. Now, to south, responding to 2 no trumps. So, here we have got four, six, seven points in total. Our partner's promised 20 to 22, so we'd like to be in game. That's decided. Um, we could be lazy and just bid three no trumps. That would be a game that we could potentially make, but who knows? The spades might be wide open, for all we know. Um, given that we've got a five card major, we want to investigate the potential of a major fit with our partner. So if our partner has three or more hearts, we want hearts to be trumps. Whereas if they have two hearts, then, we, then we'll play no trumps. Notice they can't have fewer than two hearts because they've opened a balanced hand. They must have a balanced hand for opening two no trumps, so they'll have at least two hearts. More often they'll have three or more, but we don't know that. We can't rely upon three hearts from our partner. So we need to ask them, basically, do you have three cards in hearts or more? Stamen is not the right thing to use when you have a five-card major. It's only useful when you have a four-card major. So if we bid Stamen and they say no, we still don't know whether we are in a position to play in hearts or not. And that's because they will have denied four hearts, whereas we actually know only need them to have three hearts for a heart fit. So with a five-card suit or longer, the correct procedure after a no-trump opening is to transfer. We bid three diamonds, our partner bids three hearts because they have to, and that will, then we will have shown them our five-card heart suit. So this is looking like a hand where we're going to bid three diamonds as a transfer, part of his three hearts, and then we bid three no trumps. And that way we'll have shown a game going hand, because we bid three no trumps, and we'll have shown five hearts, because we bid the transfer. And then we leave the decision to our partner as to whether to bid four hearts or leave it in three no trumps, and that depends on the number of hearts they have. So first we start with a transfer, and then we're going to bid game next. So three diamonds is the first bid. So, uh, East West are out of the bidding now. They, they were never going to bid anyway, given the quality of their hands and the shape of their hands, but especially after a 2 no trump opening, they're not getting involved. So it's just North South. Um, North's got a very easy bid. Partners transferred, which tells us to bid three hearts. So we bid three hearts. You don't break the transfer. Well, I say you don't break the transfer. There is, there is a very occasional time you break a transfer, but it's very, very rare, and even more rare after a 2 no trump opening. Yes, we like the hearts, but we just bid three hearts. We don't know what our partner's got. Okay, so as discussed before, we're going to bid three no trumps next. Notice there's, there is a trap to transfers. When you transfer, you bid the suit below the suit you actually want, your partner bids your suit. So you're looking at the three heart bid and thinking, oh good, you've got hearts, so have I. But that's not the case. Our partner has bid three hearts because you've made them bid three hearts. So the temptation with this hand will be to bid four hearts because you've got enough for game and we've got a heart fit. The problem is you don't know you have a heart fit. So that's because they might only have two hearts over there because they've been made to bid three hearts. So therefore you return to no trumps and leave the decision to your partner. Okay, uh, partner's transferred, then bid three no trumps. That is, that is concurrent with a five card suit. Uh, if they had six cards in hearts, they would know we had a definite fit because three hearts would promise at least two. That's because we've got a balanced hand. So it looks like South's got a five card heart suit asking us to choose between four hearts or three no trumps. The key here is the number of hearts We've got three hearts, so our partner's got five, therefore we've got eight together. So therefore I would bid four hearts rather than three notebooks. Right, now to east, leading against four hearts. Um, we've got a few options here. I, the only suit I wouldn't lead, definitely, is diamonds. You never lead a suit with an ace and only an ace against trumps. So I wouldn't lead the ace, I wouldn't lead low away from the ace, I would lead none of those diamonds. 
Um, your options really are club spade or heart, naturally. Um, a heart looks a little bit unattractive because you've only got a doubleton and they're trumps. So I would probably opt for either a spade or a club. Um, I'm noticing a little sequence here in clubs, 10-9. No, that's not the best sequence, but at least you can tell your partner something by leading the 10. Uh, so I think I would prefer the 10 of clubs, top of touching two, rather than middle of a poor suit. So 10 of clubs is what I would lead with this hand. Right, down goes the dummy. Here we can see South only has uh, 7 points. So 7 points plus the 20-22 with North means that's why they didn't investigate slammed and bid 4 no trumps or anything. So 4 hearts is the final one. Right, so looking at the dummy, um, that's quite a nice dummy. 5 decent hearts. Um, counting our losers, looking to establish our own hand, uh, this hand looks like it's going to be fairly straightforward. We've got no losers in hearts, unless they're breaking 5 nil, which would be very unlucky. Um, one loser in spades, the ace. One loser in diamonds, the ace. One loser in clubs, the ace. Um, it looks like this hand is going to be over very quickly. We're simply going to lose ace of spades, ace of diamonds, ace of clubs. There is a very, very slim chance that West wins the ace of clubs, leads a club back, and East can rough it, so the clubs are breaking... 1-5. Um, but that will be unlucky, albeit it's possible. Um, anything else, what we're going to do, as soon as we get in, we're going to draw the trumps and then basically give our opponents the ace of spades, the ace of diamonds, and the ace of clubs. Um, that's all there is going to be to this hand, but we've got to draw the trumps first, and only if the trumps are 5-0 might we have some problems. Okay, so presumably declarers play small from the dummy, play a small club. Um, so we've got a decision to make on this club. Our partner's led the 10 of clubs, which promises the 9, or it promises that, lead, that they're leading from shortage. Um, it doesn't look like shortage, given that we can only see 5 clubs between our hand and the dummy. So, they basically, they've got the 9 of clubs, they haven't got the jack of clubs. That's what the 10 of clubs says, top of sequence. So, the king of clubs is the query. Where is the king of clubs? Um, it could be in our partner's hand. They might have led an internal sequence, king 10-9. They would lead the 10 from that holding. So if they do have the king of clubs, maybe we can win the ace of clubs, play a club back to our partner's king. They play another club and we trump it. That would be very nice. Um, of course, that's not guaranteed. It's most likely North has the king of clubs because they've got most points, basically. Our partner's got very few points here, somewhere in the three, four point region. Um, so they might have the king of clubs, they might not. Our best defence, though, is simply to play third hand high, play the ace of clubs and fire a club back on the hope that our partner has the king of clubs. So that's what I would do. So obviously with the ace being played by West, um, North's going to play a low club, because they have to follow suit. So that's one trick for East-West. Now, as I said previously, we're going to lead another club in the hope our partner's got the king. So, small club, voiding ourselves of clubs, hopefully we're about to get a club rough. Now, something interesting's happened here with the club lead, um, and subsequent club continuation. And that is that now we have three winning clubs, the Queen of Clubs and the King Jack of Clubs in hand, the top three clubs. We actually have an overhanging club. We've got three clubs in hand and only two in the dummy. So on the third round of clubs, we're going to be able to discard something from the dummy. And that discard is going to be very useful because we're going to be able to throw away that singleton spade on the dummy and therefore not lose to the ace of spades. Because the defence haven't taken their three aces off the bat, we're actually going to have a chance here to make 11 tricks by throwing away that spade. First, though, we need to draw the trumps, because if we play three rounds of clubs, someone might have run out by then. In fact, it's very likely someone's run out. So we need to decide which hand to win this trick in, basically. Um, we would like to win in the dummy and then draw the trumps, finishing in hand, so that we can then cash the clubs in the correct order. We might be able to get 11 tricks if the trumps break nicely and we can then cash three clubs, throwing away that losing spade. So I'd like to win in the dummy simply to unblock the clubs and to give us facility in drawing the trumps in a minute. So small club is what I would play here. Okay, so obviously as East we're going to play the nine of clubs on the eight of clubs. If we don't play the nine of clubs now, then Declare is going to win the eight of clubs. So we've got to cover that eight with the nine, albeit we can see that dummy's going to beat our nine with the queen. We've got to do our best. So the nine of clubs is what I play here. And then Declare is surely going to play the Queen of Clubs from the dummy, winning in the dummy. Right, so just one of the Queen of Clubs in the dummy. We'd like to draw the trumps, and hopefully the trumps break, and therefore we can then play these two clubs, throwing away our losing spade in an attempt to make 11 tricks. So first, low heart from the dummy. West follows small. We play the ace or the queen. I personally prefer top down, but it doesn't matter. The ace... That draws a trump. Okay, that's good news. That means the trumps are not breaking 5-0, which means we will not have a trump loser. So that's one trick to the good guys. One more trick to the good guys, I should say. Now we want to continue drawing the trumps. 
The trumps are now breaking well enough for us to be able to draw them all. Even if the remaining three trumps are all in one hand, we can play queen, king, and jack on all of them. So it doesn't really matter how you do this. Queen of hearts, felling the ten. Low heart from the dummy. Low heart from Wes. That means the trumps were breaking 3-2, so there's only one more trump out there between east and west. So let's draw that. Another trump. Um, what east discards doesn't matter as long as they keep their ace of diamonds. It's, it's completely irrelevant. I'm going to throw it, say a small spade, but it honestly doesn't matter. Um, oh, sorry, that's gone from the last trick. So now we play nine of hearts. As long as we play something big, king of hearts, that will do. Eight of hearts here. And that's that trick done. So now the trumps are completely drawn. Now what we can do is play that club to our hand and play these two winning clubs and throw that nasty losing spade away. So small club from the dummy. They're going to discard something. They would have liked to get a club rough, but they've now run out of trumps. So let's say they throw a small spade. We play the king or jack of clubs. Both are equivalent. And they follow with a club. And now the killing move as a declarer. We play the jack of clubs. They follow with a club, and we throw that losing spade away. It's much more useful to throw that spade away, because that creates a void, rather than that small diamond away, which does not create a void. In fact, it doesn't save us anything, this small diamond. So throw that spade away. They also throw a spade away. And now you can see, we've actually manufactured a situation where only the ace of diamonds is a loser. The king or queen of diamonds will lose to the ace of diamonds, whoever has it, in this case east. And then the rest of the diamonds will be good. We've got king, queen, jack, ten. So the king or queen gets rid of the ace, and then we will have diamond winners. The spade suit is entirely irrelevant because the dummy is now going to be the master hand because we've got rid of that spade. Notice the importance of the ten of diamonds. If we had jack, little, 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 we might have a fourth diamond loser should someone else have the ten. So it's quite important this king queen fills in this slot of six four and makes it that only the ace of diamonds is the loser. So I would next play a diamond, king of diamonds, or, or queen of diamonds, and East can take their Ace of Diamonds whenever they like. They'll probably take it now. And what that means is we will then have four, or rather, sorry, three winning diamonds and those two trumps. So we'll actually make 11 tricks. Rather unfortunate for the defence, because they could have took three tricks if they just played Ace of Clubs, Ace of Spades, Ace of Diamonds. But that is highly unlikely defence and somewhat psychic that they knew you were going to do what you did. So, yeah, 11 tricks.